Well, that's what you want to know is that story that little feather got left home alone. Mm-hmm. So I can now start up from the front and tell it to you. Once upon a time, quite some spell ago, they were this boy, name of Kevin. Mm. He lived with a family. They had quite a bit of money, I can, big old house, whatnot. Mm. I can, they family, they decided they were going to go on a Christmas vacation. Mm -hmm. So they family, they come over there to the house and they spend the night together and there's a bunch of chaos and whatnot. And Kevin, he had a little old brother, big brother. He made quite a bit of sport of him. He bullied him and called him names and whatnot. Mm. And that night, he made Kevin mad. And Kevin said, I wish I'd wake up and I wouldn't have no family. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that night, they went to bed and that next morning, Kevin, he woke up and all his family, they was gone. They wasn't nobody in the house. But anyhow, he was sleeping when his family woke up and they they was in the van and there was a lot of chaos going on and whatnot and they they left and they went to the airport. Mm. But anyhow, back at the house, Kevin, he thought he'd made them disappear. He was feeling mighty proud of himself. He liked not having his brother around there to make quite a bit of sport of him, poke fun of him, and call him names and whatnot. So he went to the grocery store and he got him some French fried potatoes and potted meat and shampoos and the People magazine and whatnot. And he started toting it back home. I can when he toting it, his bag it broke and whatnot, and kind of went on the ground. Then anyhow, he got it back home, I can. Now can you want me to get on with it and tell you what happened? So I can I tell you. Hmm. Kevin's mama, they was on the plane. They was flying to London or whatnot, somewhere like that. And she jumped up from there and she started hollering, What'd you leave Kevin for? What'd you leave Kevin for? Yeah. Mm. Couldn't find out she'd left Kevin back home. He was all by himself. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, they were these two fellas. I can, they called themselves a Sticky Bandits. Mm. They wanted to go in there and they wanted to steal and rob from the McAllisters while he was gone. And they realized that Kevin, he was there by himself. Mm-hmm. And they said tonight, we gonna go in there and we gonna steal all they crystals and all they jewelry and whatnot. And I can Kevin, he knew it. So he booby-trapped the house and he got ready for him and whatnot and he got all his trains and all his mannequins and all his Michael Jordan cardboard and whatnot, and he put it up and put it in the window. And them sticky bandits, they come by and they said, there's a lot of people in that house. But I and Kevin made it look like that. But anyhow, later on the next day, they come back and Kevin, he had the house all ready for him. Mm. Now I can, his mom and daddy was trying to get back, they was trying to get people, take them back home and whatnot. And now finally John Candy, he decided he's gonna put them in a van and bring them home for Christmas. Mm. Anyhow, 
Kevin, he ordered a pizza and whatnot and scared that fella. And then later on that night, Jack and the family, they got home and Kevin realized he didn't want them to disappear. He liked his family and he persevered with all the stuff that went on and yeah, from that point on till Home Alone 2 or whatnot, they they got along pretty good. The end.